In this video, I want to show you how to create a coming soon page in WordPress. And this video is updated for 2023. We do have previous videos on the channel. If you'd like to check those out as well, we're going to head over to seedprod.com. This is the best drag and drop WordPress website builder for WordPress with over 1 million professionals who use Seedprod. And today we're going to be using a template. You can actually go to the website and check out the list of templates that we have available. We have this broken down into landing pages and themes. Today we're going to be looking at landing pages. Keep in mind, Seedprod can build a full functional website on WordPress, not just landing pages, but today we're just looking at the landing pages, specifically a coming soon page. So here we have the type, we have the category here, so you can preview these if you like. You can simply install Seedprod, click on one of these that you like, and you have yourself a great head start. We're going to go ahead and do that. I'll show you how. Let's go ahead and click on get started to get your version of Seedprod that makes sense for you. I'm going to be using the pro version today. And once you have an account, let's click on login. On the left hand side, you're going to enter your email address, your password and click on login. Once you're logged in, we're going to click on downloads, the second tab here from the left. And we're going to click on the orange button here to download the plugin. On the bottom left here, you'll see the license key. We also need this. So let's go ahead and copy that to clipboard and we can go ahead and close this tab. Here I have a clean installation of WordPress. And on the left hand side, we're going to come down to plugins in the sidebar and we're going to click on add new. At the top, we're going to go to upload plugin. And we have the choose file. You can select that zip file that we just downloaded. Or if you're using a similar browser, you can click here and drop it right here and click install now. Go ahead and we can click on activate plugin and we can paste that license key right here. Next, let's go ahead and click on verify key and you should see a green success message here. I'm going to go ahead and close this tab at the bottom. Right now that we have Seedprod installed, we can go ahead and create our landing page. On the left hand side, you'll see Seedprod. There's the landing page section and the theme builder. The theme builder is where we can create a full website from scratch. Today, we're just going to look at the landing pages. Here we have the coming soon mode, which is what we're going to be using today. Maintenance mode, login page 404. And we have other landing pages here that you can create as well. Let's go ahead and set up a coming soon page right here. And here we can see our new page templates. We're going to select one. You can create one from scratch if you like with the blank template. Uh, if we scroll through, you might see one that you like. So for this example, we have a launch coming soon. I'm just going to select this one. We'll hit the orange check mark. And here we can see the seed prod page builder. On the left hand side, we have our blocks. This is under the design tab and we have our standard blocks and our advanced blocks. If we scroll down, we can see we have WooCommerce blocks, which is not installed today. We also have widgets for WordPress as well as our saved blocks. On the right hand side, we have the page itself. And here we can see the purple sections. We have the blue columns and rows and we have the blocks, which are orange here. And we can modify absolutely everything to fully customize whatever you're looking to accomplish. So to start on the bottom left hand, you can see a cog wheel here for the global settings. Let's go ahead and click on that. And here we can modify our fonts, colors, background, and custom CSS. Let's go ahead and click on fonts. And here you can see our header font and our body text font. So right now for the header, we're using Poppins. You can go ahead and change that if you like. Go ahead and change this one to Carla, just a random font I found, and we'll go to bold. And here we have a new header font. And for the body text, we can go ahead and change that as well. This one's called poly and regular 400. I'll just leave that for now. And you can come down to the colors here. You can change the colors for your headers, text, buttons, links, and your background. For this, let's change the background color. I'll find something else, maybe a light beige or something. So it's just a little bit warmer as well as our buttons. We can go ahead and change that as well. Great. If you need help with the color palettes, there's a color palette button here and you can click some presets here. Just simply click on one and it'll import those colors into your header text buttons, links and background. Great. We also have the background tab here. This is where you can change the background color again or add a gradient or you can also add a background image. Down here we have a little tab for the video background if you want to add that or a background slideshow. Today I'm just going to be using a simple color and you can add custom CSS here if you need that. To get back to the blocks, we have the dots here. So for example, if you want a video here, you could simply drag and drop one in. Click on the cog wheel here for the block settings and on the left hand side, the settings will change here. You can change the type from YouTube or a custom that you host and you can update the URL here, the width, if you want to change the percentage and the alignment, as well as some advanced options here for spacing, the styles, attributes, device availability and animation effects. So for this example, let's look at our headline. We'll change the block setting here. You can change the text if you like, the alignment, the level, and some advanced options here as well. You have topography with some more fine tuning if you like. So here we have line height if you want that a little bit closer. So maybe I will do that. And some spacing attributes and the same options as the other blocks. For this video, you can drag and drop this if you want to move it around your page. I'll put this on the right side instead. And this image here, I'm just going to remove this. Now you can see that this looks a little bit unbalanced where the video is not in the right place. So for our row settings, we can click on the cogwheel here. And you have different options here for color, background image, fixed width, the column, etc. We also have a vertical alignment here. And if we click the middle button here to center that, 
it'll be perfectly centered based on how high this left side is. I'll also come up to the background color here and maybe we can make the background a little bit different so it pops off the page. And we can come under the advanced tab here and we do have a border as well. And if we scroll down, we can change the border radius so we can put some curved edges here on the side of the row. And right now it's set to solid and no border color. We need to put a value for the border width. Let's put five pixels here and I'll you choose a yellow color, but maybe something a little bit lighter. On the bottom, we also have shape dividers here so we can open this up. You can add shapes to the top or the bottom. So for the top, we could add, for example, a fan opacity. And here we need to change the color to something else. Here we'll do something very faint just so you can just barely see it. This will add a little bit of a design flair to make it a little bit more interesting for your viewers. You can play with the color and the different effects for the width and the height, or you can select a completely different effect here if you like. Great, once you're happy, you can go back to your blocks here, clicking the dots here, and I'm going to add one more element to the page, a countdown, and I'll add this maybe to the top of the video here. You can click on the block settings here to change the countdown type. You have date, time, or a visitor. So this will restart every time a new visitor visits your website from a predefined amount of time. So right now we'll say maybe they have 15 minutes to sign up uh, and that'll count down from 15. Now we have the size here if you like to change that. And when the message expires, what would you like to have happen right now? You can show a message or you could redirect or restart. For this example, I'll just redirect them maybe to the front page. You could maybe have another custom landing page saying, oops, you missed the offer, but it's not too late. And maybe you could do another offer there. You can also customize the labels if you want to change the days, hours, minutes, or seconds. There's also some templates for some different styles. So if you wanted something more round or modern looking, and there's some advanced options here as well. Great. We also have the text block, so you can update that as well as the opt-in form here. And right now we're currently selecting the email address. There is a name option here as well that you can show and an opt-in confirmation if you like. I'm going to hide both of those. Here we have it set to a large size, the alignment, as well as a submit button. So right now it says get the coupon. You can change that to whatever makes sense for your offer. The width, the font size, the background color, as well as, as the success action. So after they put their email in and click, what would you like to have happen? You can show a message or you can redirect maybe to a thank you page. Again, there's templates for this as well, similar to the countdown. I'll leave it to how it is now currently. Similar to the countdown, there's templates here as well. So I'll select maybe a random one here. And I like that for the rounded corners, similar to the countdown, so that matches. And again, there's advanced options here for all of the different fields, the buttons, the spacing, device visibility, and animation effects. So right now, when you collect email, Seedprod can manage that where you would export that. But you can also connect this up here at the top left to your favorite third-party email marketing service. So for example, if you want to use Constant Contact, you can click Connect, and you can connect a new account. Right here, you're going to insert your API key that you will get from Constant Contact. If you need help for that, please check out their documentation or contact their support. And then you'll just simply connect your account. Then when someone signs up on your page with an email address, it will be managed by that third-party marketing service. We also have the page settings here. We have the page title, the page status, either draft or publish. You can show a Powered by Seedprod link. You can enter your affiliate URL if you like. We have isolation mode. This is to help prevent conflicts with your theme or other plugins. If you're using any Facebook blocks, you can put your Facebook app ID in here and you can change the redirect mode if you like. On the left hand side, we have some access control here, which you can read through these settings. This can be helpful for if you're working for teams and you want to share a link or if you're remote, you can do that by adding roles, access by IP or a bypass URL, etc. For SEO, you can add some options here. We highly recommend as well to use all in one SEO, which is a fantastic plugin and works great with Seedprod. And we have the scripts where you can import some header, body and footer scripts. Once you're happy with everything, let's just simply save the page and we can go ahead and preview that. And there you go. That's how you create a coming soon page in WordPress by using Seedprod in 2023. Keep in mind, this was a simple example and you can completely customize this however you like. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video and check out these videos for more Seedprod. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.